Oh, uh, hello there! Welcome to Let's Play Pokemon Vega! This is the final, final episode, hopefully. Last episode was completely unplanned. I thought I was just gonna do like two or three matches in that gauntlet of trainers and lose, but... Today will be the last episode, including another bonus episode later on, but... What we're gonna do today is something you can't do unless you finish the Pokedex. So, all 386 caught, captured, and in the PC forever. You talk to Professor Vega, man. He's like, wow, 151, you're great, Vega. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Professor Vega. And, oh, 386, wow, you're even better than I expected. You're so cool. Thanks, man. Look, yeah, I, I'm great. Oh, Mosugisu just has to ruin the party, saying, Hey, there's an emergency. Jeez, oh, Mosugisu. Well, what's the hubbub about? Hmm, yeah, I want to listen in on this. But Gav, I need your help. Oh, hey, it was a professor guy. He couldn't even bother following us. Well... We're over at Hisui City, the best city ever, the Ranger City. We're just teleported over here, don't even ask. I don't even know what's going on. We got some DH members on the right-hand side, by the way. And Almio. Oh, I didn't notice Almio there. Oh, everyone's favorite rival. Well, oh, it seems like the DH guys are telling us a story of the Unknown Dungeon back when Tucker lost. Oh, the humanity. Whoa. Gee, I wonder where the Tucker boss man is. Hey, you watch your tone, mister. This isn't a place for comedians and jokesters and ruffians like you. Oh, fine. I honestly don't know what's going on. Something is definitely afoot, though. I'll tell you that much. And by that much, I mean, well scientist guy. Whoa! Turn off your battle theme? This is pretty intimidating for your lackeys. I will personally testimony to everyone here. Will you lead him off over there? Because, I don't know, was he lost in here? He's like, oh great. He tried to escape and then he got lost. But, oh! Suddenly a lab with a little, a little what's the first evolution? I know Koshian. Oh, shade me and something. Well, seems like we got some chit chatters over there. Calm down over there. Whoa! Cloning machine! They're on New Island in the Unknown Dungeon! They discovered Mewtwo's hidden cloning machine. Oh man, you're supposed to keep that under wraps. Look at Alamy, I was like, mm mm mm, nope, we can't have evil dudes cloning things. That's just. Wrong. No, cloning is cool, right? Yeah, cloning is a good thing to do. Well, looks like we have to protest on this. Let's move it. Ugh, Almeo, please, just go. And, oh, why are these guys here? Are they against it too? Well, Isui City, to hear that best theme in the world. But more importantly, we gotta save the world! We've gotta get rid of Trophy first and foremost, because we're gonna need the best team member ever. And you know who that is? That's Tana. Let's move, people. Also, I need Serena to be second. Thank you! Okay, so, oh, you know what? How about just no reason in particular? I'm gonna give it a Lumberry. Should I put leftovers on someone? Oh, Tata, what's everyone else holding? You, Rambi, my buddy. There you go. Okay, let's move through. Well, this gym. You know, why couldn't Mewtwo have the decency to get rid of all these spinning mats? You know, I would do that if I had a bunch of people walking through my house to go through here. Because there was a lot of people, and the only way to get in here is through the gym. How rude of Mewtwo before he got captured. Okay, so. To get to where they were showing off that cutscene, you just go pretty much to the one area where we battled that one Mewtwo replacement guy, remember? Yes, of course you remember. We battled him twice. 
Uh, well, it's right over here, but what you didn't know is, well, it's kind of my fault. And here he is, look at him, oh man. Over here was an extra area. I didn't really show this off because I didn't really think about it. But over here is some area. Well, the thing is, I never knew there was a reward for catching all Pokemon until recently. Like, maybe two weeks ago, so I bothered doing it. Wait, I need well Pokemon in here. Uh, so this area, of course, only appears if you activate that cutscene and, you know, complete the entire Pokedex. It doesn't look like there's anything in there, though. But, okay, what we're gonna do today is uh, possibly the toughest battle we will ever have in our lifetime, viewer. Let's do it, Jack, Elmio, Mosukisu, and DH, buddy. Whoa, look at Vic. Yeah, he's raring to go. <laughs> I've had a million battles up to this point. I am ready for anything. Freeze! We've got you semi-surrounded here. Now, oh, almost. Motsugisu, go over. Okay, almost. No. Oh. Okay, well, I guess we'll call that surrounded. Well, Tucker. How hard could he be? This is the final guy you could possibly battle. Well, Tucker's been busy catching Pokemon that don't even exist in the Pokédex. This is actually a sphere in its Altair Ice form. This is a form you'd only see in Altair, and there's also the Surius form, which we'll get to eventually. This guy is Ice Dragon with, and thanks who doesn't know how to play, the stats of 100 HP. So 155 attack, 111 defense, 201 special attack, 111 special defense, 179 speed, and the original move called Tri Nuke. It's basically Tri Attack, but 120 power, 80 accuracy, and a special dragon move, you know. Sweet, we live. Also, it has a 30% chance of doing whatever Tri Attack does. That's fun too. Luckily, we did not get afflicted by it. And it's time to summon the beast that we've had sitting in our party since the dawn of time. It's time, Serena. <sighs> now, we have to bank on 30% not activating. Or killing us. Okay, 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 okay. This was not part of the plan, but I swear I can live that hand. We're gonna try once more. Unfortunately, Tade could not even bother dodging a blizzard. Ugh. Um, Rambi. Okay, now we'll go ahead and heal up and try that again. There you go, Silea. Okay, focus last. Well, I wish that missed. Silea. Now, we shall shell smash. And, well, it's a whole entire move says. Blizzard, Cyburn, Focus Blast, and Tri Nuke. Also has a King Lucas Rock just to be even more annoying. Wow! I'm glad I didn't get any status. Well, thanks a lot, Lumberry, but I really don't want to get any status so they bring in Serena. And a Blizzard. Okay, this is what I wanted, because I try to bait in the Blizzard since I'm in such low HP. And, you know, it has a chance to go for it, because. It's neutral. Oh well, luckily it did. It's big yawn, and looks like we've got this battle on the lockdown. We have to tone deaf it though, because I don't want it waking up or anything. I really want to risk that ice burn, but let's just keep going with it. Tone deaf, dead. Hmm, good. Also has compound eye. Did I notice? Did I mention that? Did I notice that? Maybe you noticed it when I sent out taught it. Well, next up. It's another Osphere form. This is the form you'd see in Sirius. Uh, I'm not sure how it changes exactly, but I've heard that you can change between forms in Altair and Sirius. I'm not sure about this game. I haven't tried it Osphere. I just caught it a couple episodes ago, if you notice. But I've heard that you can change forms by giving it either a Thunderstone for this form or the other one with a Water Stone. I haven't tested it out again. Maybe I'll test it after this or something. Okay, so now that it's asleep, this is Electric Dragon with the stats of 100 HP, 111 attack, 133 defense, 201 special attack, 133 defense, and 179 speed. Pretty much the same stats except for what? 
attack is weaker on this guy, and defense is higher on this guy, just slightly. Okay, well, ice burn! Get a boost or so, yes! Oh, it didn't wake up! Okay, do I risk it? Do I risk it? Do I risk it? Don't miss! And boost! Yes, Serena! Oh man. Oh boy. Well, here's a new familiar face. It's Namiya, but notice how it didn't sparkle. That is not its shiny form. This is a completely different Namiya. And remember how the other one was steel? This one's grass poison. I don't know why either, but okay. I do like how it's golden though, because remember the whole story about the Nemean lion, how it had golden fur impervious to attack? Well, here's the golden fur, oh! But why is it grass poison? Was the Nemean lion poisony? I, I don't know. I didn't think it was, but okay. It really throws you off though? You'd think it would be something else. I don't know, grass poison was the, would be the last thing I'd ever expect. So, ice burn it. Oh, don't wake up. Perfect! Okay, okay, okay. We could probably. Ooh! Well, I got some boost. Also, it's stats. Oh, man, I didn't notice this! Uh, it's. Ability is Flash of Fire! Well, that's annoying. Well, its stats are 111 HP, 184 attack, 106 defense, 98 5 special time, whatever. Uh, 123 special defense, and surprisingly, 84 speed. Well, I guess that's why I have the Salic Barrier. Still. Boost, good, and well, I'll definitely outspeed it. I really want to risk going for that ice burn, but oh, it's gonna miss. Okay, I think we have plenty of boost, honestly. It's tone deaf. Okay, ah, oh, I could have ice burn. Okay, don't want to push my luck too much during this battle. Next up, oh, uh, okay, there was a similar Pokemon to this guy. It wasn't a legendary or anything. It was pretty much like an edited Smeargle caught it back in the DH base in the post-game area. Well, this guy is no laughing matter. It is Dark Ghost, unlike the other guy. I think it was just normal. I'm gonna put it to sleep just in case it does anything funky. And, uh, well, <laughs> it can learn every move because of Sketch. So it has Ambush, High Jump Kick, Extreme Speed, and Randomly Will-O-Wisp, whatever. The thing is, though, it has pure power. And it's stats. Oh, geez. Okay, I need to go for Surf. Don't go for Tone up here. Surf it. And, uh, have some focus, man. Hopefully, it doesn't activate. Anyway. 85 HP, 184 attack with pure power. Holy, is that broken. 73 defense, 51 special attack, whatever. 96 special defense, and 157 speed. Vega, guys! Come on! Oh, here is probably the cooler of the guys. <laughs> I didn't expect something like this. XZ001! Yes! Shadow Lukia. Now, the thing is, it is Choice Bandit, so maybe I could use this to my advantage, but the thing is, it's nothing you'd ever expect. It is Water Steel! Okay! Why that? I don't know, maybe Psychic Steel would have been alright, but... Okay. Well, it's got huge power too, you know, just to not make it too broken. Uh, yeah, this is the part where I can't do much to it. I'm glad it didn't send it out first, but because it's Choice Bandit, I want to see what it locks itself into, and we should be fine if Serena dies. Okay, well, stats are 106 HP. 135 spe oh, 135 attack, 144 defense, 100 special attack, whatever, 172 special defense, and 157 speed. Ah, okay, it's confusion. No, oh, okay, it's still asleep, good. And do we ice burn it? I don't think ice burn will do enough for another tone deaf to kill it. Okay, let's just tone deaf it again. Alright, oh, it woke up and went for ambush. Okay, that's slightly bad. Well, we're definitely dead. Oh, man, how did it live? Okay, Rambi died. That's unfortunate. But we'll bring out Banjo and hopefully bring this back home as it locked into ambush. Okay, just it's choice bandit and pure power. And, uh, okay, water steel though. We can take a hit and we'll drain punch it as it hits us with a dark ambush. Okay, wow. Well, <laughs> I think I overestimated it a bit too much. Okay, we'll just bulk up. Yeah, it's bulk up in its face. Oh, man. 
I feel like that's kind of the downfall about the Choice Bandit, because it has Big Splash, Psycho Cut, which would have been really annoying if it locked itself into that. Earthquake and Ambush. The reason I kept uh, Jax alive is because I'm hoping it locked itself into Earthquake and then I can Nasty Plot on it and it can't do anything unless it, it's AI and makes it switch. Uh, whatever. Okay, do we keep going here or... Uh, you know what? How about we heal up just in case? I lay Okay. Ambush me all you want. I don't mind. You know what? I kind of do mind, so I'm just gonna heal up. You can never be too sure. Oh, struggle. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I just feel bad now. Oh, okay. There we go. And lastly, another cool idea by the Vega guys. Primal Dialga from Mystery Dungeon. Wow, I love this idea. Well, I don't love its typing. Go steal with speed boost. Why? Okay, I'm hoping. What's that? Three? That's it? Oh, jeez. Okay. Go steal Night Slash. Yeah, that's the best I can do. It's a pretty much a special attack. Ah, oh, that's speed boost. Okay, it's got Geo Impact, Hydro Pump, Shadow Ball, Dark Resolve. Well, we'll see what happens if it's faster than me. Goes for steel move that I can't live. No, critical oh, man. Okay, this is worrisome. Ah, uh, sight Leia. Okay, speed boost. That's annoying. Dart. No, go steel. It's stats: 100 HP, 133 attack, 134 defense, 201 special attack, 111 special defense, and 135 speed. Okay, what do I do? I uh... hmm. <laughs> Hopefully, I could get one hit on it. Um, great. Okay. 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 We surf it. Geo impact. Wait, is it locked? No. Okay, well, we get a boost here. What is he doing? I don't have my leftovers. Okay, this is bad. Really bad. I sort of rely on my boosts. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Let's just maxi med and hope it misses or something. Okay, Shadow Ball. Ah! Alright, calm down. I don't know if we should stall it out here or what, but. I'm gonna have to hope for a miss, I guess. That's the only time I'll get a free chance to hit it. Okay. Oh boy. Shadow Ball, yeah. No, 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 no. Great. Okay. Ah! <laughs> okay, this is bad. Really bad. I'll maxi med. It's not gonna kill me. Oh man. Okay. Once more. Yes! You glorious dude! I love you, Surf, and we just had to bank on the AI being an amazing genius. Unless we get credit here. Silea, you are my favorite Vega buddy. Yes. And that's it. Did I say everything? Oh, it's item with metal coat, by the way. Yeah! A little bit of luck, a little bit of everything. And that's how you make Vega. Oh. Whoa! They look kind of awkward. I'm gonna lie. Oh, well... <laughs> he just fled the scene! He's gone again! I wonder if he'll be in the sequels. Hmm. Well, whoa! You gotta catch him, Vagab! Sure! Can he do that? It's not on the Pokédex. So would not that break the game or something? Uh, well, I wonder. Uh, yeah, I wonder too. Uh, oh! No! 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 You stay back! Oh no. No, turn off your Ranger theme. What are you thinking, Alamio? No. Oh no, don't you agree, Motsugi too? Uh oh. Oh no, no, don't get raring to go. Hey! I am the hero of this story. Ramby! His Ramby, which isn't the best one because mine's the best, and even though it died this episode. Stop! Put your Ranger Stylus away. No! 
Why is he get the congratulatory music? Look at the gab, just shedding a single tear. I like the Rambi sprite though. I wish I could see the front sprite. No, don't look at them. They're just congratulating. Oh, well done. You captured them with your stylus. Oh, okay, I saw my name there. Well, thanks. Yeah, no big deal. I just beat up Tucker barely. <sighs> we did it! Okay. Why am I with Mosugisu? Is he gonna take us back to Altair Surya's Hoenn land? Okay. Well, bye. Oh no, Elmio. I wanna see a Pokemon Ranger. Vega hack. That's what I want to see. Range is the best series, by the way, spin off wise. Well, it's been fun. Bye. Do I have to walk all the way? I have to walk all the way out. Let us save and. Oh, oh, oh. Can I clone stuff, by the way? Let's save again. Oh, it's a machine! Better not touch it. Yeah, you better not, Begev. Watch those fingers. Well, phew! A little uh, shaky here and there, but we did it eventually. We beat everything that is Vega. Let us heal. Yes! Now, Tropy. Sorry, Todd. <laughs> We're done! All of Vega! Unless there's something I somehow missed, I'm pretty sure I didn't miss anything. We're gonna hang out in Hisui City. And as a final goodbye to this best team in the world, Jackie goes right there in the kind of semi-order that I caught them in. Yeah. And who was next? It was Rambi! It was... Shoot, second. All these parts, and I never memorized their genders. And Silea with a delicious lumberry. Well, that's it! These were the best guys ever. I want to thank everybody that watched, by the way. And also gave the suggestions of saying, Hey, you shouldn't have the whole post-game being your same old team. That's gonna get boring. So, if it wasn't for viewers, I wouldn't have had a new team, and I really want to thank you guys. I would have never tried out Jackie and all these other guys that I was going like, uh, I'm too lazy to train up something, but it was pretty fun. I got to try out some new guys, some fun stuff, but good. It's fun. Also, it's fun making this box. Well, that's everything. Just quickly look through the boxes if you want to take a little peek at everything. I did catch everything in the Pokédex, and next episode I'll just go through the entire Pokédex just to have a video of having like all the Vega Pokémon in one video. And so, that is everything. Also, I've been meaning to mention this, I actually caught this dude in the secret cavern off screen, so they're not as rare as I thought, did I? Oh well, I, well, too bad Machu can't be here to celebrate with us. Also, I still need to figure out those trades. Oh man, well, I don't know. Maybe I'll have like a special video or put it in the description. Tell me if I, I ever figure it out. If someone ever tells me, maybe I can make an extra video after this. But that's it for today. Thank you every single one of you for watching this Let's Play. It's been a blast. And man, I would do it over again if I could. And I would. Because someone did link me to a randomizer for Vega, pretty much any Japanese game for Pokemon. And maybe one day we could visit the lands of Vega Land once again. I wouldn't protest to that, that's for sure. So, not anytime soon I'm gonna make another Vega Let's Play, but in time we'll do another one. I'm sure it'll be fun, there's just so many Pokemon that I've always wanted to use, so... The randomizer, I'm sure we would have that opportunity. Oh, and really quick, a couple of things I want to bring up before we completely end this episode. It's, I want to give a very special thank you to Kurao Sonkun, local Japanese translator extraordinaire, for 
translating a bunch of names for me. Like, the dude offered to translate some names. Like, oh, okay, you can translate some of the team members I was planning on using and such, and I don't know, maybe some legendaries. That's helpful, right? No. The guy's all like, look, I can translate everything, okay? So they did. 1 through 151, and even after that, they translated a couple in the post game. So thank you very much for that, kudos on kun. It definitely livened up a couple battles. We got to talk about the names and such. So that was fun. I did sort of memorize some of them. It was very handy. But one other thing I want to bring up is a comment left by Shiny Gyarados the other day, and they said, "Which five Vega Pokes would you like to see in Pokémon X and Y, which have not been on your team at any point during this eon-long LP?" Well, I just love this question. So I'm offering this question to everyone watching. Out of all the Pokémon, like excluding everything that I use right here, just in this entire box, including that guy, if you want. I don't mind. Just, let's forget about these guys and everyone else that exists in the Pokédex. Which guys would you want to see in X and Y? And you know what? Just to twist this question a little more, it include one Legendary too, so five Pokes and a Legendary. Oh man, I don't know what Legendary though. Uh, I don't know, this dude, just something about it radiates coolness to me. He looks cool with his like, Latios, Latios kind of hands and such. It's cool, and the Band-Aid, oh man. I like it. I don't know why. <laughs> this dude's kind of cool too, but... Uh, also, Ganymede, man! I love it. Ah, too many good ones. Man, oh man, oh man. Well, I'll just go with this guy. And my whole five pokes. First off, you know all. Know it. You know all the way. You all narwhal it! It's narwhal guy. Yes! It's cool, it's amazing, I was so close to using it, but it all came down to a coin flip. Ah, well, yeah, I guess that doesn't count as a guy that would have been on my team, but it would have been on my team. So that dude, and, like, honestly, I love its whole family, too. Where is it? Right here. Like, this dude, I was so close to using it in Altair, but at the last second I didn't. I think I already had a water type or something. Something made me not use it, or some dark type, I think it was. I don't know, but at the last second I didn't use it. And that dude, yeah, he's alright. Uh, next up is the Rock Steel type. I also said I would definitely use this guy if we ever got the chance to do another Let's Play. This dude, he's so cool. Oh man, I love the design. It's that gigantic jaw thing exploding out of its mouth. It's cool. I love it. Oh man, I want to use it. Uh, next up, oh, if Sandslash got an evolution, and he totally needs it in my opinion, it's gotta look like this dude. Oh man, look, <laughs> I got it to level 73 because I was so close to using it actually, but literally at the last second I decided, oh nah, let's just not use it. I just didn't want to use too many evolution guys, like evolutionary guys from like an actual Pokemon, because, I, I don't know. It's more fun to use like an original design than something they like, already based on. I don't know, that was just my thought process. Cause I did have a couple evolutionary guys, like, well this guy shouldn't have been here, but with a shiny and all. And this dude, well he's just cool. So, uh, <laughs> Santa Size would have been my third option here. Next, uh, um, oh, 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 fighting flying bird guy, yes. I love this dude. Better be the far fetched evolution. Not that guy. Like, he's alright, but no. This guy's way better. He even has a plank of wood on his back. That's amazing. I love it. Also, it gets intimidate. That's so cool. Also, it learns bulk up. I swear we saw one with bulk up once. That's cool. It's like a banjo bird. Kazooie, if you will. Oh. Oh, man. One day, I'll make a name Kazooie. Okay. Lastly, oh, okay. My last guy that I really, really want, it's Electric Rock Sabertooth guy. Oh man. Two Let's Plays, I had the chance to use it and I didn't. Ugh. Maybe the next one, maybe, maybe, maybe. I love it. Just in Vega, it's really hard to use because there's so many deaths that could befall it because it's so frail and, you know, without revives, it's kind of hard, so. I think the best chance to use it would be in Altera Oh well, I just didn't use it. Ah, I wish I did. Oh well, 
uh, that's my list, and what are yours, fellow viewers? Let me know, and now we're done, we're done, okay? This video's going on for so long, oh man. Alright, next time, I'm going to meet you all in a brand new Let's Play that takes place in Unova, in the hack world of Volt Y2. We're going through the challenge mode of that game, and it's gonna be pretty funtacular. So I'll meet you there, with also a little twist to it. You'll see that when the Let's Play comes around. So, with that guys, I will see you later.